Hello, everyone. Let me start today's lecture with this sentence. 지금부터 문법 설명을 시작해 볼까요? Meaning, shall I start the explanation of a grammar from now? The sentence has 을까요 form in the end. When it combines only the verb, it functions differently from the one which conjugates with adjectives and nouns as well that I am planning to talk about separately in the next video. So, let's look at the use of 을까요 now. When 을까요 is with only the verb, it semantically functions as asking for a consent. The form begins with 을. So, in order to complete the combined form with the vocabs, you must follow the basic and irregular conjugation rules depending on how the word ends. These are the examples. 먹을까요? 갈까요? 걸을까요? 만들까요? 구울까요? 부을까요? Since it's used with a question mark, it's only used as a question, which means you are asking. There are not many types of auxiliary terms that are attached and used together with this word, as long as it functions as asking for consent. And examples can be 아오 볼까요? 아오 줄까요? 아오 놓을까요? 아오 둘까요? 아오 있을까요? 아오 버릴까요? 고 있을까요? And not many more. Tense and other elements do not combine with it. However, when you want to express it with a negation, put only 지 말다 rather than 지 안타 or 지 못하다 in front because 을까요 in the function of asking for a consent includes personal opinion which hasn't turned out to be true. You can refer to the 25th video for the content. So 지 말까요 is right to be used for the opposite action of 을까요 Next, the meaning of this word can be divided in two ways. First, it's used to ask for consent to the action you want to do with the other person. In this case, it's commonly used with the word 우리 같이. And these two words can be separate or together in the sentence. Another use is to ask the other person's opinion about what you think would be good to do. In this case, since it is not an act you do with the other person together, it's necessary to have 제가, meaning I, who is yourself to do the act as the subject in the sentence. And if used, it is related to both. And if used without the particle ka, the original form of the word cha is mostly about the speaker's own situation. However, in real conversations, they are often omitted. So, contextual understanding is needed. As you know, the honorific uxi is not used to honor yourself. So, 의시 can be inserted only for the first use. Excluding 요, it's casually used or for monologue. Now, let's look at the example sentences. The word 을까요 in the conversations below are used as the first function. 우리 앉아서 좀 쉴까요? Shall we sit down and take a short rest? 
안 돼요. 지금 쉴 시간이 없어요. No, we don't have time to rest right now. 주말에 어디 갈까요? Where shall we go on the weekend? 등산할까요? Shall we go hiking? 네, 좋아요. Yes, that's good. 심심하네요. I am bored. 그럼 우리 같이 영화 볼까요? Then, shall we watch a movie together? 아니요. 죄송하지만 저는 영화 안 좋아해요. No, I'm sorry, but I don't like movies. Since it functions to suggest to the other person, the answers to the questions are expressed in various forms, indicating positive and negatives as well. Typical ones are 네, 좋아요. 그래요. 미안해요. 안 돼요. And etc. Also, like this sentence, it is not unavailable to answer to the sentence with only the kinds which are plain. As an intention to narrow the scope for the talk, it is also natural to ask a question by using 을까요 for the response right after. Then, let's look at the second function with the examples of asking for the other person's opinion on what you're willing to do. 방이 좀 덥네요. The room is a little hot. 제가 창문 좀 열까요? Shall I open the window? 네, 감사해요. Yes, please. Thank you. 어서 오세요. 뭐 드릴까요? Welcome. What would you like? 아메리카노 한잔 주세요. I'd like a cup of Americano, please. 네, 4,000원 결제해 드리겠습니다. Okay, I will help you pay 4,000 won. 나 거기 가지 말까? Should I not go there? 글쎄, 생각 좀더 해봐. Well, think about it. A little more. The person in the position of taking an order often uses the word 을까요 while dealing with customers and also uses it to listen to advice when thinking about issues that are difficult to decide. The appropriate answers to this are as follows. For both sides, they can be 네. 그래 주세요. 감사해요. 괜찮아요. 제가 할게요. And if only about yourself. 네, 그게 좋겠어요. 글쎄요. Or 으세요. With the verb of an action that you come up with to give away. Like 생각해 보세요. Or 네. 가지 마세요. Or you can ask the reason saying, 왜요? As you can see, the use of 을까요 is divided depending on the type of the subject of the action. But in a large frame, it has one meaning in that you seek opinions with it from the other. If you remember that point well, you will be able to use this word without any difficulty.
In the next session, I'm going to talk about 읽어요 that combines not only verbs but also adjectives and nouns, which has another meaning. Thank you for watching.